I wanted to create a countdown inside OBS that would count down to a predetermined time. And I want it to end exactly at zero at 10 o'clock in the morning. And I went ahead and created that and I have it right here. I'm distributing it as a zip file because HTML files may do unusual things if you try to download them directly. So we'll go ahead and extract that zip file and now we'll have countdown html accessible we'll need to go ahead and open this file and we need to open it in a text editor like notepad notepad plus plus we'll go ahead and open with I have notepad listed here but if i didn't i could go in here and find notepad and open it and here is the content of that file, not a very big file. This is the line where we choose the time we want the countdown to end at zero. So right now my local time is 3.33 p.m. So we will set this for a few minutes from now. So let's do uh, 3.36. Uh, of course I did 3 is 15 because it's a 24 hour clock. And that's really all I will change. Here I'll go ahead and save it. Now I'll go back into OBS. This is the, um, the spot I want to add the countdown to, so I will go ahead and click on my plus under sources, select a browser source and name this countdown. And I hit enter. You could also click OK. Now we're going to look for local file, so I'll select local file and then select browse. And I will need to find the document that I just extracted. So it's under desktop, under the countdown folder, and I put it in a separate countdown folder. That's the countdown.html file that we need. I'll go ahead and select open. Now my document or my uh, window should be the same as uh, my screen. So that's 1920. 1080 and just to free up some resources I'll check these boxes to shut down source when not visible and refresh browser when scene becomes active uh, they're not critical they really don't need to be done but we'll go ahead and do them it will free up a few resources for OBS so I'll select OK now you see the time at the very top. Now if I want to go back here I can go in here and change this. Let's change it to 20 in font size. We'll save it and when I go back in if I choose the countdown source select refresh and it makes it larger. Of course now it reached the correct time so it's showing Zero, zero. Let's change the time to, let's make it four, or, sorry, 4.30. So we'll save that, 4.30 p.m. So a little over an hour away see if I go in here and refresh the countdown now. Now it's 53 minutes and 18 seconds away. Of course we can scale it down, move it around to where we'd like it to be. So we don't have to do all our scaling in the file. We can do it visually here inside of OBS. I'm getting too close to the edges. There we go. And now we can see the countdown timer just does its thing. 
when it's zero, it sits at zero, it doesn't move any further. And that's all there is to it. Real simple HTML browser uh, source inside of OBS for Countdown. I hope this helps you out.